In this video, we present an overview of the functionalities and information contained in Box 1 of Keza, which is about managing substances in Keza. Within Box 1, the user can manage the substances to be assessed and check information related to its properties contained in the Euclid file. To start the assessment of a substance with Keza, First make sure that all the information needed for exposure assessment and risk characterization is available in the endpoint summaries in Euclid. Please note that Euclid provides a Keza input information dossier template that automatically selects the information that is relevant for the assessment in Keza. A substance dataset can be imported in Keza through a Euclid export file or from a Euclid distributed installation directly via the Euclid web service. The instructions on how to install it and use the web service can be downloaded from the link visible on the screen. Please remember that the web service only works with the Euclid 5 distributed version. The information imported from Euclid and visible in Box 1 relates to the identity of the substance, its physico-chemical and fate properties, physico-chemical hazards, environmental hazards and human health hazards, which are, for workers, hazards via the inhalation route, dermal route and hazard for eyes, and for the general population, hazards via the inhalation route, dermal route, oral route, and hazards for eyes. In the physico-chemical sections, the properties that are imported from the endpoint summaries in Euclid can be seen. In the last column, the properties used are indicated by the exposure estimation plugged-in tools in Keza. The information on environmental and health hazards includes the PBT assessment and the relevant PNEX and DNELs and or standard explanations when no PNEC or DNEL has been derived. In this example, we can see all the hazard conclusions for the different compartments. PNEC values are available for all compartments there is no hazard identified for air and there is no potential to cause toxic effects in higher organisms in the food chain. Regarding the human health hazard, in this example there is a DNEL for long-term systemic effects. There are no acute systemic effects identified and the substance is classified for skin and eye irritation. Keza will automatically determine the scope of the assessment based on the information imported from Euclid. In the scope of the exposure assessment, the environmental protection targets or the routes and types of effect for which no exposure assessment is required can be verified. It will also be possible to see the type of risk characterization, quantitative or qualitative, required. The assessment of indirect human exposure, that is, man via environment, is by default expected if long-term systemic effects exist. Nevertheless, there may be cases where other considerations can be made that would justify not performing the assessment for man via the environment. In such cases, this can be indicated by ticking the corresponding box and providing an adequate justification. In this example, for the environment, a quantitative assessment is required for all the protection targets except secondary poisoning and air, where the assessment is not needed as no hazards have been identified. As the substance is classified for skin and eye irritation, a qualitative assessment is needed considering those two routes. In addition, it was concluded that a qualitative assessment should also be carried out for the inhalation route 
as local effects cannot be excluded for that route in the absence of data. DNAILs have been defined for systemic effects and therefore a quantitative exposure assessment is to be performed. KESA allows you to work on different substances and different chemical safety assessments at the same time. It is possible to import as many Euclid files as necessary and then search and select the substance of interest in the database. Once a substance is selected, start the assessment or import one already available for that substance. If one or more properties for a substance that has already been assessed in KESA need to be updated, these properties need to be edited in Euclid. After that, the Euclid file with all the data needs to be exported and re-imported in KESA. KESA will then compare the two files and report the substance properties which have changed, the recalculations which will be triggered once the import is concluded. In KESA, each assessed substance should have at least one chemical safety assessment, that is CSA. Therefore, when starting an assessment, a CSA is automatically created by KESA and it is called the default CSA. Besides the CSA created by default, the user can create as many CSAs in KESA as needed for a selected substance. This may be useful for example, in the development of a joint CSR or an own individual CSR. To create an additional CSA, click the Create button in the CSA Management tab. Enter the name of the CSA and select the status if needed. The explanation field should also be filled in. Finally, if appropriate, check the joint CSA box. If this checkbox is ticked, this information will be used by the Euclid Report Generator plugin. Please refer to its user manual for further information on that. By clicking the corresponding button on the toolbar, a CSA may be exported or imported. This would enable the reuse of fully assessed life cycle trees or a part of them across substances and may be useful, for example, when CSAs are developed by sector associations. The assessor then has the possibility to finalise the import or cancel the action. Finally, please note that the help text bulb throughout the application, if clicked, points the user directly to the relevant place of the user manual from where further information on the related functionality can be retrieved quickly. This was the overview of Box 1 of KESA, where the assessor can import the substance information needed for their assessment from Euclid and identify the scope of the assessment required. You can find further information on Box 1 in the support page of the KESA website.